With the holiday season ramping up at Disney World, I thought it would be fun to look at all the various Christmas overlays that get added throughout the season. I should note this list is only going to be about the overlays for rides and shows, and not an all-inclusive look at all the holiday decorations around property. So let's get started. Over at Disney's Animal Kingdom, we only have one show that gets into the holiday spirit, and that is the holiday show on the Tree of Life. This plays multiple times a night towards closing, so it's fun to catch on your way out. Moving on to Epcot, we have three or four, depending on how people want to count the rides. Thankfully, they're all up front since World Showcase focuses more on how each country celebrates the holidays. Both Figment animatronics get an Imagination Pavilion Christmas sweater for Journey into Imagination with Figment. During Festival of the Holiday, Living with the Land gets a bunch of holiday decorations spread throughout the greenhouses. As with other festivals, Spaceship Earth is given nightly shows before Luminous goes off, and during Festival of the Holidays, that means more festive songs. Speaking of songs, the former Christmas overlay that could return at any time Disney chooses is for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind with Run Run Rocket. This was used in 2022, the first holiday season after Guardians opened, and has not returned due to backlash. But there's always a chance, because true believers know that there's seven songs for Guardians, and one day, they'll bring it back. Excelsior! On more to Hollywood Studios, where we find a similar situation to the other Skyliner Accessible Park. There are four holiday overlays here, but maybe three depending on how you want to count the last one. As the park icon Tower Terror is given the Sunset Seasons Greetings projection that plays throughout the night every night of the season. Next is not quite an overlay so much as a holiday edition to, for the first time in forever, a Frozen sing-along, in which Olaf comes out to join everyone after the show and do songs from Olaf's Frozen Adventure, which in my opinion includes the best song in the entire series. Back in Toy Story Land, you can find Alien Swirling Saucers has thrown a Christmas song into the mix of normal Toy Story music. This typically plays like every third song, but that may change year to year. And last but not least, Slinky Dog Dash gets a technicality, as Rex is given a reindeer headband as part of the holiday decor, but he's within the boundary of the ride, so I'm counting it. Before we move away from studios, let's not forget Jollywood Nights. This is a paid event that started last year. This includes three shows that take over areas around the park, that are all in some way tied into the season. The first is at the Hyperion Theater, where Frozen Singalong is replaced for the night by the Nightmare Before Christmas Singalong. The second is Holidays in Hollywood, which takes over the Theater of the Stars. And finally, we have Jingle Bell Jingle Bam, which is played at the end of the night on the Chinese Theater, similar to the animation projection, or formerly the live action projection showcase, that plays before the park closes. And finally, we arrive at Magic Kingdom, where we have a fairly uneven split between what is available for regular guests and what is available at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Probably the most well-known overlay is Adventureland's Jingle Cruise, which takes over Jungle Cruise for the season. This adds holiday-themed jokes from the skippers and various decorations throughout the ride. A much more recent addition is the Frozen Holiday Surprise, which overlays the castle with Christmas projections while Elsa and the gang sing songs from Olaf's Frozen Adventure. If you haven't noticed, they really like having that used wherever they can. As for Very Merry, we have four must-hit things in terms of overlays. The most iconic is Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks, which takes the place of Happily Ever After for party evenings. Then we have the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor Holiday Show, which I don't actually have footage of, because I was busy meeting characters last time I went to Very Merry. Space Mountain is given red and green lights, which is in contrast to the pitch darkness of the Halloween overlay. And Mad Hatter's teacups have Christmas music as you make your spin. There you have it, the current list of every ride and show with a Christmas overlay. Now sure, Disney can add more attractions to this list anytime they want, but it isn't something they change super often. If you enjoyed this, then definitely feel free to subscribe as I very much enjoy making these types of videos. Also feel free to tell me in the comments what else I should be showcasing on the channel. Anyways, thanks for watching, 
and I'll see you real soon. Bye!